The first step in the edgewise modeling workflow is to extract cylinders or ground surfaces from your scan files using the automated feature extraction algorithms in edgewise. In this step, you'll also create a point cloud database that will combine all the scans in your project into a single viewable cloud. In the File tab, click the Process Scans button located in the upper left of the tool ribbon. Choose the scans you wish to process and click Open. A dialog box appears asking you to choose the type of model you want to process. For now, we'll ignore the ground surface extraction and just create a pipe model and a point cloud database. There's a separate video in the Additional Tools series that covers ground surface extraction. When creating a unified point cloud, you can change the maximum range parameter to adjust the extent that scanner points are included in the database. You can also adjust the point spacing to decimate the unified point cloud for faster rendering, or reduce this number if more detail is required. The default values are usually ideal, so I'm going to leave them for this example. Note these values are in inches. You can change the project units to meters, feet, and more in the options drop-down in the upper right-hand corner. There are two inputs when creating a pipe model. First is the minimum number of points needed to detect a pipe. Potential cylinders must contain at least the number of points you specify before they will be extracted by edgewise. The range is between 50 and 10,000 points, but in general the default value of 80 will deliver the optimum results. The second parameter allows you to account for more noise in your scans by adjusting how far away a particular point can be from a likely diameter before it's excluded from the extraction calculation. The default value is based upon results from a clean scanner with a tight level of accuracy and a low amount of noise. If you're using a scanner that generates more noise, then you should increase this tolerance. We recommend processing all of the scans in your project in a single batch. It takes about 8 minutes per scan and you can process an unlimited number of scans at a time. For large projects, many users kick off the process before they leave for work in the evening and let Edgewise run all night. Edgewise creates one or more C3 pipes files for each scan processed using the same naming convention as the original scans and places them in your scan file folder. Once you have processed your scan data, you are ready to combine the results into a model. To do this, you simply click the Add Model button located under the File tab on the ribbon bar and choose the model type you wish to add. The choices include point database models, pipe models, ground models, and C3M models. First, I'll add the point database model. The output file of the point cloud processing step is a C3DB file located in the same file folder as your scan files. Highlight this file and click Open. The high definition point cloud will be loaded into the scene. To load a pipe model, select all C3 pipes files that you want to merge into a single model. Edgewise will combine all the selected files into a single unified pipe model with no overlapping pieces. This process takes about 30 seconds per scan, so large projects may take a while depending on the number and size of the files you merge. The models you bring into the scene are listed in the model frame at the left of the scene window. To work in a particular model, the model should be highlighted and the corresponding tool set for that type of model will appear in the ribbon. When you save a pipe model, Edgewise stores it as a C3M file. After the initial model is created, we highly recommend you immediately save your work to create the C3M file. To save your model, highlight the model in the left-hand pane and click the Save button under the File tab. That wraps up Step 1 in the workflow, how to extract pipes and create a point cloud database. The next video in the workflow series will detail Step 2, inspecting and approving extracted pipes.